on the evening. Oh boy. All right. So yes. They the plan is to think about and potentially get to implement uh, parts of these uh, the slideshow system that I uh, Screen. explained on previous instances. Um, I'm still not done rewriting the asset system. Uh, there's a, a few things that I don't know how to address. Uh, well, not a few, but really currently one. There might be more once I get that done. But specifically, the issue relates to meshes and and vertex arrays and, and that kind of deal and how it's loaded and handled in, in, in relation to the resource system. So I'm still not settled on that. Not sure why it's taking me so long to figure out a solution that I like for that. Um, I sat down with it for a couple of hours and couldn't figure anything out that I liked. So, um, that's still not done. The rest, however, is done. At least as far as I can tell. So, we got a window again, and we got text. It was rendered properly, so hooray for that. Great. Um, I did actually rewrite uh, how fonts and text are handled almost entirely. Mostly because um, previously the library we're using to handle text rendering is called Fond, which is a small library I wrote myself based on um, STB TrueType. And previously it handled the texture allocation and stuff itself, so the texture was bound to this sort of uh, font C structure, which isn't very nice because, you know, we have our own texture handling and trial, and you would probably want to keep on using that. Not to mention that a font itself kind of is a texture, so it would be nice if it could be treated like one, which means inheriting from the texture class. So I rewrote things a bit so that font, for instance, doesn't always create its own texture. If you already if you like set one explicitly in in the on structure it won't create one and just fill it in with data so now we can use our own texture class which is nice so if we go into trial uh, assets font font now looks like this texture and the gl asset and we have these texture properties here and then there's a bunch of stuff to actually load it uh, the font in, which I had to replicate from the font library because we, uh, yeah, how it, you know, works out of the box isn't entirely suitable anymore. It's not really much it does, it just sets some parameters and then it does a, uh, it attempts to pack the texture atlas into a small enough texture. It does that relatively primitively, but, uh, it should be good enough for most purposes. So, yeah. And text is now no longer a resource because I realized that makes no sense. It's just a standard entity. And I also made it reuse most of the other helper stuff. So it uses vertex, color, and texture entity. And then that reduced the number of bullshit. Uh, the amount of bullshit I need to do quite a bit. This is much neater now. I would say, at least. <clears throat> so that's good and stuff. Now, on to the actual thing. Before I do anything, though, hold on. Um, also, I don't know if this music is going to get me ass bossed on YouTube, but we'll see. If it does, oh well, I guess one... One, uh... Free house is not going to be available. Why is that not... I have an offset there, I think. Yeah. I guess I didn't have an offset before, for some reason. I don't know. Oh well. Anyway. That's nice. Now, alright. 
back to our thing. Let's make a new project for that. Uh, uh, oh boy. What is going on? What should we call that? Um, some kind of pun on slideshow or something. Um, Ed show. Brave show. Uh, slide view. Slide present. Um. Mm. Oh no. Slide something. Or something show, maybe. Uh. Why are we getting 65 or so FPS? That's weird. Oh, anyway. Uh, light beam. Sure, why not? Fuck it, let's go with that. Light beam. Good. What the fuck? Um. Let me just copy something. Uh. Uh, slide beam. Slide. Close. Oh. Thank you. Miles. Oh, w. There we go. Break that. Create a GitHub repository for that. Good evening. Hello. Oh, because I don't have any commits. Whoops. package for that? I don't even know. I do. Uh, I need to fix the exports anyway. Um...
joke. Good. I wish I could use CL on my school project, but the external formats I have to use require me not to do so. Which external formats are that? Why doing this is a pain in the ass, dude. Mm. Fits. Okay. Try to parse it for it. That's all that is all that if if that's the only problem you have. Um okay, I'm gonna spend some time. Basically a database this. file geared for astronomy and astronomical data. It's a binary file, and the specification is flippin' massive. Ah. Welcome to science, I guess. For computing, science computing. I have to use Java in the compiler design course. Fuck me. What does you expect you'd have like to use? Like 1250 pages massive. That's good. That's pretty good. Come on, dude. Oh my god. Multiple cursors are way too slow sometimes. Why are you being rowdy? Stop it. Ugh. No. Java is expected, but still, don't like it, especially for compiler writing. The great news is that... Um, their compiler framework that they have, that they make you use, is really weird. They spend a lot of time being confused about not their choices. So, have fun with that.
much shit to export this. This is surely extremely uh, exciting to watch. Watching me uh, type things. Surely there is a way to look through all the symbols used and decide which ones to export. No. Well, that's what I'm doing. I'm looking at the source code. But I am thinking of looping through all the symbols and then printing out all the ones that have their function cells defined and working from there essentially. Your functions aren't everything. You also have types and um, variables and sure you can do that, but there's also just a shit ton that I don't care about and don't want to have exported. Nothing from here actually. I just do it like this. It's not really a problem of me not seeing which ones. Like, it doesn't uh, take right. me long to find the next one. Uh, next symbol that I will care about. More just... It's gonna take a while, so strap in and talk about whatever else. Pizza is in the oven, oh boy. Nice. I wish I had some pizza.
So how about video games? You guys heard about video games? I don't these should and the other hand. Just played Dear Esther twice back to back. Very impressed even if I am a decade late to that party. What is a video game? A little bit. Dear Esther. Dear Esther is very controversial. <laughs> For good reason though. Like, I think Dear Esther is... I like it. I think it's a nice experience, but... Um... I can see why people are upset about it. Let's put it that way. Yeah, totally. I'm happy there are more polarizing games or interactive media, to be honest. I just, uh, like, okay, on that note, like, people are uh, always come, uh, When talking about the arrestor, the, the first thing that's going to come up is just like, yeah, but it's not a game. And, like, for me, that's like. Who gives a shit? <laughs> like, what does it matter whether. Like. <laughs> What difference does it make? Right? Like, how does that make matter in any sense of... Any sense at all? Like, it just confuses the fuck out of me. Like, it is interactive. You do control some semblance of it. And it does deliver a, a story of some kind. It delivers an experience of some kind. Shouldn't that be enough? They don't like. <laughs> it, it, it's really funny because once you get to that point, people will. Be in much agree. Whether it's a game is beside the point. I just had a great three hours. Yeah, like it, 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 people will then start to find some weird, arbitrary rules by which to distinguish what is or isn't a game, and it's <laughs> those rules never make any sense. Like, one of the most popular ones is, like, a game needs to have a failure mode or something. But then, like, are Monkey Island games not games? Like, I'm pretty sure, like, LucasArts Adventures are games, but they don't have a failure state. You can't lose. Potentially, something that would just randomly hit buttons all the time would win. <laughs> Minecraft also. Well, Minecraft does have a, a failure state in, in at least story mode in that you can die, you know. Uh, or what, like adventure mode or Can't whatever it is. Game of life. Yeah, well, Game of Life isn't really a Game of Life, it's a simulation. That's a misnomer. Uh, resolution... Full okay. But yeah, it's, it's like... You can't really define what a game is. It's much more useful to talk about... They call it AO player game, which sound about right. It, it, it's more... Uh, it, it's like much more useful to talk about experiences and whether something succeeds in delivering a certain kind of experience or not. And I think the Arrestor does succeed in delivering an experience. Albeit might be pretentious as fuck. So, yeah. And some people might think it's not really worth spending 20 bucks or whatever on that kind of experience. And that is fair game. That is absolutely fine. Wait, why am I exporting these? This shouldn't be exported. Press attach, button pressed. All of these can... 
not matter at all. Geometry clip map, I'm not exporting yet. Hey, don't we have gamepad events? Used. Yeah, we're already used to fine. Oh, and input. Alrighty. Gotcha. Oops. Make rectangle. Rectangle. Make cube. What else do we have? Make quad grid. Make line grid. Make. Make disk. Make cylinder. Make stone. Make. Good. Geometry. Geometry. Special. Good. Geometry. Geometry. Gear mesh. Nice. Bricks. By the way, I am going to play with some animation software. Cool. It's a shame that Flash is basically out of reach now. I know how to animate with it. Uh, what kind of animation do you want to do? It's just a little frame by frame deal with moving text and split flap displays, not much. Uh, I don't know what a split flap display is, but you could try Krita. Krita has built in animation support. I used it to make the little graphic in, in my latest entry, though that doesn't really look like much. L latest article, I mean. You know, the clicky clacky things that you sometimes see in train stations that tell you where the next departures are. Ah, oh, I see. That. Input. I could avoid mistyping all the time, that would be great. Ah! Is it? Yeah. Oh my god, we're almost we're almost halfway through. 
Normalized text back. Okay, the back pipe then. Okay. Fails. I don't remember writing this. Write this. One point, apparently. Huh. All right. Sure. any of this still works. I hope it does, but I I doubt it does. <sighs> also have an angle on how to do the operating system window and GL context separation stuff in trial, but obviously I haven't gotten around to doing it yet. The pizza was very delicious, 8 out of 10. Sounds good.
Um, I went to a really good pizzeria yesterday, but I didn't eat pizza there, I ate lasagna because I was uh, curious to see if it was, if they make good lasagna there. It was okay, it wasn't as good as the one I make, but um, yeah. next time I'm gonna take pizza again because their pizza is amazeballs. Buffer. Hey, what? In buffer and the random texture. Buffer is, is there a no way to set whether a function gets exported at its declaration? There are extensions to do that, but I don't consider them a good idea. Plus, I only need to do this very rarely, and not really that big of a. Don't remember exactly anymore how this works, so I'm just gonna leave it. Pretty sure these are broken as well. should rename these at some point input and output to like input and output port probably or something similar like that
Probably also need to revert now. Let's get a week 10. Do that. Immediately without a. Fix me. This is. Something in the. Oh wait, I forgot I have some subfolders of stuff that also needs exporting. Whoops. Starvation test. How about that for a name, huh? much shit I've written over the years, jeez.
guess in the meantime, if you haven't yet, you can read my latest article since that's a bit more interesting. Watch me type, I hope, at least. Do the burps have names? Yes, they do. Green one is called Yuki, and the white one is called Flickly. thing is most of these don't need any or don't need much exporting this needs absolutely no exporting automatically geometry yes and it is this it's good well I guess we can some stuff. Uh, no, I'll leave it up now. The V format is, the verdict format is supposed to be extensible. It is possible to be exported, but for now, nobody's gonna use that, so fuck it. Thank you. 
Here's the fucking clusterfuck of a code I used to do the texture joining stuff. Yeah, look at that beauty. Mm-mm. No, if I want to export any of this. Probably not right now. Done. What is done? The exports? The exports is done, but not everything else. We haven't done anything for the actual thing we're here for. Wow. Okay. So, what I want to do for this is that or. Uh, for every slide, I basically want to be able to define... Spending the entire stream working on things needed to do the actual thing sounds pretty familiar. <laughs> yeah. Um, so what I want to do is that like each slide is its own scene. So transitioning between slides means simply transitioning between scenes. So I get slide transitions for free, basically. Um... So what I want to have is basically, uh, let me make a scratch here. What I want to have is basically like, um, I guess uh, a set of files maybe, either a set of files or one file, I'm not sure. Eh. Like something where I can go like uh, define slide. Like, either, if it's all in one file, I'll have, like, define slide thingies, and then have, a, like, a number of which slide that is, and then content here. Or the whole file is gonna be this content, I guess. I guess I could do both. <clears throat> so. Then you would have stuff like, uh... You would define the different kinds of things that appear in the scene. So, for example, I would have, like, uh... Uh, like a, a header, uh, hey guys, and then I would have like, uh, stop that, and I would have like, uh, body text. This is really cool slide, yo, check it, and I'll be that, right? Or, yeah, or like, so, or paragraph, I guess, and then like, would have like uh, a list or something, and then you would have like. Uh, oh shit. Lists. Lists even. Whoa. Right? And then you could have like. Uh, also, other stuff. Like. Uh, you. Maybe. And then you could say things like, I don't know. And then you could also have like entire definitions in the file. So you could say like, uh, I guess you'd have like, uh, uh, define creator subject cube. And then you would have like, Right, and then you would have like stuff. Or, uh, I don't know. And then you could do that. 
and then like it would it would exclude this from the source code but it would still be in there so it's sort of like a, a scratch file where certain top level statements influence how the scene is is put together when it's loaded and the rest is just standard list definitions something like that maybe and then like you could have something recursive like where you have like uh, I don't know find slide 2 and then you could have like uh, this slide is Reflective, and you could have like a editor for for the slide two that would just or like this text file or whatever, and then it would like uh, include a text editor where it displays the source code for the slide, and I can redefine it, and it would automatically update stuff. Sort of this kind of deal. I don't know. That's just ideas. Ideas. Like, yeah, support. like yeah. something, or like, I guess, yeah, editor for this, and then you have like a cube as well, or I don't know, something like that is what I would like to have. Why you always be doing this? Right, so, yeah. <clears throat> That's kind of what I would ideally like to have. So, how do we do that? Is the question... Can the slide numbers be non-continuous? Well, sure. I mean, they're just... Uh, what does that matter? <laughs> Slides just need to have some kind of name. Some kind of order. Um, I think I would prefer to have, like, one file per slide, though. That seems much... ...cleaner much more in the spirit of things. Ah, so they can be named as symbols as well. Dude, this is just me working out things. None of this exists yet. I'm just writing things down how I would like it to look. Mm. How will we do this? I have some idea about how to go about this. Some idea, but not fully. We need some kind of source transform facility that can turn this into something else. Mm -hmm. That's one port. And then... Yeah. 
Yeah, I guess what I could do is sort of like uh, if I have a transform that turns like uh, say error la into uh, uh. ah stop it. No, wait, that's the wrong way around. Into like a header text blah. Then I could have each uh, top level form is read in such a way that if it denotes. If the first symbol denotes a class name, then it is automatically turned into. make this here work. No, that wouldn't work quite yet. So we would need to have something like enter and that would be bound to a function that can enter it into the current scene. Yes, yes, yes. I like that. Kinda. Kinda. Well, we don't actually even need a source transform thing. We just need to define the function like that so that they work. We would have just yes, yes, yes. Very good. Okay. So what we need is a new package. I should have package this new Default. No, it should not. It shouldn't use anything by default. And then I can define what I want to use for each project individually. Okay, no, hold on. Ah, uh, I got a better idea. So, how this is going to work is you're going to have a directory of files where each file is a slide. And then you're going to have sort of uh, a singular special kind of file that defines the whole slideshow, which defines the sequence in which the slides appear, and it also defines what kind of uh, like packages and stuff you can use within each slide. That should allow for maximum reusability. Maximum. Yes, that sounds good. Goody, goody, goody. Right. Um. You still want to have a slide user package, though. Um. Or maybe no. Do we? Yes, we do. Uh. Good life one of these days. Okay. Alright, def mark defines. Function on the list body if on
There we go. Good. Good, good. And now we can say define slide function header text. And that'll do enter instance header text. Good. Probably make this shorter. Each. And for, for like layouting, we can probably do something very primitive where it's just each thing has a, a fixed height. And then, well, now the paragraph needs to be flowing depending on stuff. Eh, uh, uh, I'll think about it. All right. And then we have... Slideshow gets its own package. Right.
Right. Sorry that I'm not saying much, I just... When I'm concentrated like that, it's hard to keep on doing commentary. And it's not really that interesting right now. I guess what I'm trying to do is... I'm defining the base kind of structures we have in the slideshow application. Uh, it's like a top level slideshow fucking class and then for each slide you have an instance which is a scene to which things are loaded into. And because the top level forms are transformed or are simply function calls that cause instances to be created and entered into the scene, and simply load the slideshow file and everything should work out as expected. to know the source. No, we don't. Oh, maybe... Bum, bum. Bum. Yes, actually we do need to retain the source. We also need a name. For each slide. What's the fucking function for to get the file name? Enough. File name string.
of that. So did you get trial fixed up again or have you just managed to dodge the bugs so far? Um, well it seems to be mostly working now. There's only uh, the mesh stuff I still don't know a solution to so that's still broken. Um, everything else seems to be working, sort of. I haven't really ten tested extensively. I don't really have time. I didn't really have time for anything else either though, so I don't know what happened. Uh, bad things, apparently. We got that, we got that, load slide, those things, they're fine, that's good. The burbs are in good form tonight. Are they? I haven't really been paying attention to them. I'm too busy with this stuff. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> Path name, and it should probably be relative to the selection source. And space. Shouldn't be for me. That. Welcome to amazing slides. Gonna be great. Um, Right. 
saying? They're on the floor right now for some reason. I think they're searching for food. The other one is nibbling on things off camera. gonna head off a bit early. Thanks for the stream, dude. Alright, see ya. Um, how are we gonna do this? Um... how this is supposed to go.
guess I can just read this as the, uh... something. Hmm. Yeah, still not sure how to. Need to separate the keywords from the arguments again. Uh, structure. Uh, <laughs> I did that just recently, I don't remember. Uh, it was in documentation. Kit. Click body option. I called it there. And we shall do the same. can load a slideshow, that's nice, that's cool, and so forth. Good. Alrighty. <clears throat> Let me 
put that all in a separate file. Where am I? Oh, good. slide your object and that's cool and all um probably also need an index here current uh index go. index and stuff to manipulate that uh current slide that in place and then we need thing to handle all the main shit probably I can't believe it. Running my torrent client makes the YouTube stream not work, even without anything downloading. Must be some ISP shittery. Weird. That's strange. <laughs> I wonder how that even works. Maybe they're throttling you across the board if they notice torrent stuff. I don't know. Which ISP are you on? Yeah, something like that. It's weird. Swisscom over 4G. Why are you going over 4G? What the fuck? Fuck, dude. Plus 
name. We're living so remotely. That's the only way to get decent speeds. Wow, that sucks, dude. I'm enjoying sweet ass fiber. Sweet ass fiber. Yeah, so that <laughs> Fiber should be coming eventually, but it might take some more years, sad face. Yeah. Next, we need to have a thing that can do things. We need to have a, a way to control the slideshow. Fine action. That, I believe. to advance to the next slide. I guess clicking. Is, is spacebar a common thing to go to the next one? I guess return or enter is. Let's press... Space. Right. Left clicking, I guess, is one... Might as well add gamepad support, why not? Uh, what did I name things on the D-pad, I forget. I usually use spacebar. Mm-hmm. Uh... Let's then... First... H. Button, D-pad. And for previous slide, F button P. Uh, oh, wait, that should be right. The thing is. No, wait, that should be left, because it's the most thing. Um, is there a common... Shift plus space. Shift and space. Oh boy. Left backspace. 
X space, right? Back space is one. I've never heard of shift plus space. Weird. But is there a mouse button? Like right click? Does that go back? No, right? Oh, page up also, I think. Page up. I don't know what they're actually called, so I'm just filling in. Um. That is an analogy to how SSPC scrolls up in a web browser. Never use that. Your birds are up to something. Are they? They're just cooing. I don't think there's a mouse button for going back right. Fine action exits. Oh. Oh, the mouse buttons three and four, I think. Three? What? That's weird. Three is the mouse wheel, isn't it? Like the middle mouse button? Uh, I'm just gonna leave that out. Fuck it. Often used for forward and backwards in a browser. Uh, not in my browser at least. <laughs> for any browser I know of, button three is is usually like this weird scrolling thingy, where you, where you push it in and then it is a weird thingy. Well, just the two buttons on the left of some mice. Okay, that's not three and four though, that's four and five. Because three is the middle mouse button or the mouse wheel button. Yeah, I think it's four and five. Okay. Well, I'm not gonna bother with that because I don't think I support that. Or maybe I do and I don't know. Whatever, either way. Okay. Uh, I guess we can also have like a... Uh, uh, like the triggers... Uh, one, uh, or one, or two. I don't know why anybody Couldn't would use the a gamepad numbers. to to do things, but sure, why not? Okay, good enough. Those things, now we need to add. <clears throat> Handler. Controller next. Next slide. Right, sure. Does the controller have access to the main? Uh, that's not the right file. Dollar. I think it does. Does it? No. Huh? No, it has access to the display. It should be that. Next and exit. Good exit. I don't know how to do that actually. Um, how do we do that? Not actually, sure how to do that. <laughs> Never had to exit before, but that's probably important, you know. Context. Hopefully, maybe something in here. Oh yeah, quit. Okay. 
Uh, wait. Recklessly. Oh, we're not in the right package anyway. Uh, that should work. Maybe. At this point, who knows? And we. Works. That. The key. That's a whole bunch of shit that's not gonna work at all. That we that I coded together right now, so a whole bunch of shit that won't actually actually work, but as is. What did we mean to do with this. today's treehouse again? Uh start working on a light show system that I can use for my presentation and it'll allow cool shit like being able to redefine the slide itself within the slide we can do fancy effects like that or like being able to display a spinning cube inside the slide and then like being able to change the behavior ah, right and so forth yeah Now nothing will work because we haven't defined any of these things yet or um, <clears throat> anything of the actual behavior, you know? Also, wait, that isn't right because next slide doesn't actually... Probably just Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 
find the stuff, the actual components that make up a slideshow next, and then we can start testing things, I believe. Uh, whoops. But yeah. Like wasting an hour just typing out package exports. I think I made a good foundation that I can work off of next time. So what, le what needs to be done still is a... Seen when is setup scene called? Hmm. Uh, I don't know. Stuff to control where things are and then. Yeah, a whole bunch of stuff to be done still. But at least I got a good idea of what it should look like and what kinds of things I want to support and how. So we're, uh, we're well on our way. Just feel a bit antsy because this is all stuff I typed out without any idea of it, whether it'll actually work or not. So that never leaves a good taste in my mouth. But, um, yeah. Great. <clears throat> but yeah, I think that's it for Treehouse. Um, yeah, thanks for joining me, and see you again next week, hopefully.